and welcome to a new vlog. If you are new here, my name is Kim. I am going to be a second grade teacher in West Michigan this fall. So exciting. This is the first time I've said that in a video because before I was a third year, fifth grade teacher, but now I'm gonna be a fourth year, second grade teacher. But I feel weird about saying fourth year, second grade teacher because really I'm like brand new to lower L. So ah, crazy identity crisis happening over here, but it is fine. Right now it is Sunday night and I'm here in my classroom because I have so much work to do in here and I kind of just wanted to like start pulling stuff off the wall. I was just in the mood to like pull down some bulletin boards and in about an hour, I'm going to a free virtual training from Jillian Starr who I am obsessed with. I follow her on Instagram and I buy her stuff off Teachers Pay Teachers all the time. So I'm gonna pop her up right here, but definitely check her out, she's awesome. And when I saw that she was doing this free math workshop, I got so excited. So of course I had to sign up and like I said, that starts in about an hour. So I think I'm just gonna run around my classroom and see what I can get done in a little under an hour so I'm gonna put my hair in a ponytail and I'm just gonna start ripping stuff off the wall because that sounds exciting so in case you're new here and this is the first video you're seeing for some reason I am moving to a different classroom across the building and I just popped in there really quick and the teacher whose room I'm moving into she is doing a wonderful job she looks like she is just about all moved out so I'm hopeful that I'll be able to start moving in in the next couple of weeks but I need to pack. I have a lot of stuff to pack. So I'm going to start by doing the bulletin boards right now and just like pulling everything off. I did just a little bit when I was here on Friday, but I was doing it during my contract hours. So I didn't want to film it, but I'm off contract hours right now and life is good. So I think I'm going to start pulling stuff down. I kind of want to pull down my leader wall actually. So if you didn't know, again, you probably know if you followed along with my channel, but I make these influential people posters and I sell them on my teachers pay teachers and I'm going to make lots more this summer. I'm super excited about it, but I think I might start by just like tearing everything down from that wall because I feel like that's gonna make a big difference and it's kind of nice because I just used hot glue because it's cinder block so you can use hot glue on cinder block in case you didn't know and it just like peels right off so I think I'm gonna start working on peeling all of those and then I want to work on this big bulletin board over here and then I have those bulletin boards at the front of the room as well so who really knows what I'm gonna do but I think I'll start over here I'm gonna put in my headphones watch some YouTube videos and tear down this wall. So let's do this. <laughs> So I just finished watching Jillian's PD. It was great. And also right before I hopped on, I finished taking down my influential people posters, which is so sad. The wall looks like so bare now. And yeah, I don't know. It just makes me kind of sad. So I have like a huge stack of posters. Where did I put them? I put them over here. Hold on. Let me go grab them. So now I have a huge stack of all of my posters and I haven't exactly decided how I'm going to incorporate them in my next classroom because I really haven't planned out how I'm going to incorporate anything in my next classroom. Like I need to just kind of figure out like the layout and everything still. But I had a couple people comment on one of my recent videos asking if I would still use them with lower elementary and 100% I definitely will. I still think it's so important to teach kids about important leaders from history and from present day and kids get like so geeked out about it. My kids love learning about people on the wall and this Year, they would always ask me like if we learned about someone new they'd be like where are they on our wall and if they weren't on our wall they'd be like well mrs halls you need to draw that person come on get with it <laughs> so i had to add a couple people throughout the year but there were a lot of people that i was not able to add that we talked about so i don't know if i want to try to incorporate it a little bit differently and like put the posters up as we talk about the people or if i want to kind of keep it the way it is and just have a ton of people on the wall at once we'll just have to wait and see but i definitely will be incorporating them i just don't know exactly what that will look like yet <laughs> 
<laughs> but I will keep you posted. So now it is actually almost 10 p.m., but I'm here, I'm feeling energetic, and so I think what I'm gonna do is start taking down some of the bulletin board stuff anyways, even though it's like kind of late, and I might just put on like a Disney movie and hang out, because why not? I am planning on coming back in the morning as well, but probably not like early morning. I do need to finish report cards still, which I'm not really looking forward to. I'd much rather just hang out in my classroom, but that's fine. And then, yeah, I have a few different things going on this week, so I just wanna make sure that I am getting everything done that I need to get done. I also just went, and really quick, I didn't even think to film it, but right when I got done with the, um, I wanna say Google Meet, but it's not Google Meet, it was like a Zoom PD, I stacked most of the chairs. I did not stack all of them because I've been using them to climb up on <laughs> to get to different things around my classroom. So anyways, I'm gonna put on a movie and then I will check in with you guys eventually. Maybe I'll show you me like taking down the stuff. That would probably be fun, right? Okay, here we go. So it is Monday now. It is right around just a little bit before 1030 and I'm about to go to school in just a couple minutes but I wanted to swing by a thrift store first that sometimes has good books and then also I think I'm going to get a nice coffee and then I'm going to go to school. I got a ton of work done around the house today just working on mostly report cards but also a couple other just like odds and ends that I needed to get done like paperwork wise. So I decided it made more sense to do that all at home where I had air conditioning and could be like nice and comfortable before I go into my classroom and like sweat and get nasty so anyways yes that is the game plan so I'm gonna go into the thrift store get some coffee head to school and then I'm gonna try to get everything off the walls today I got almost everything off yesterday so I'm getting really really close so anyways okay I am getting stared at by people in this parking lot so I will see you in a little bit <laughs> Okay, so now I am at school. As I'm sure you can tell, I have my iced coffee. It's almost gone though, and it's not iced anymore. I've been here for like an hour and a half probably, and so far I've just kind of been sorting stuff around the room. I've talked to a couple of coworkers. There's actually a ton of people here at the school today, and a lot of people brought their kids, and so it's been kind of like hectic already just being in the school, but I have gotten some things done. I started like sorting books and just kind of organizing things that I have on the desks because I don't really know what to do. I don't want to pack stuff up in boxes because most of my items are like in bins already so I can just put them on like a flat cart and then carry them down the hallway once I'm ready to start moving that stuff over so I'm just kind of like leaving the stuff in bins right now because it doesn't really make sense to start taking it out but I think today I am going to take down my wooden wall I cannot find a ladder nobody in the school seems to know where a ladder is so I'm just gonna use my step ladder or maybe like climb on top of desks or chairs or something and try to figure out how to get that down but I'm trying to leave up my little Christmas lights and stuff Stuff because I do like having those on in the room while I'm working in here so I think I'm gonna leave the lights up but take the paper down which means I might need to move my bookshelves a little bit so I might have to play around with that we'll see but that's the plan also since I've been here I have been watching high school musical the musical the series you can't really see it but it's on the projector up there and it's just been so fun to watch a show it's kind of similar to like Glee I feel like but like I don't know, a newer version of Glee. A little bit different, definitely, but I used to really like watching Glee back in the day, so I'm enjoying watching that while I'm working around my room. And my coworker whose room is right next door, she just laughed and her and I chat a lot when she's here, so I think now I'll get a little bit more work done. So I'm gonna continue watching Olivia Rodrigo in High School Musical, the musical, the series, and I'm gonna take down this wall really quick. So, I don't know I said really quick. It probably won't be really quick, but that's okay. Oh, and actually, I think I'm going to take you off the tripod a minute and walk you around the room so you can see what's going on so far, because I have gotten a lot done, but I definitely still have a lot to do. <laughs> so anyways, let me pull you off the tripod and we can walk around the classroom. So this is the only bulletin board that I still have up. I started taking down some of the border, but I haven't finished, obviously. And then I took down the papers that were on here that could hold while work. And then over here, I have all of my bulletin boards taken down. That bulletin board is taken down. I did that last night. And then, like I said, I've just moved like a ton of stuff on top of the desks. So I have stuff basically everywhere right now. And then last night I moved all these chairs over here. So I did that. I just got down the stuff that was on top of the cabinets over here. 
So slowly but surely, and then I was starting to organize these books and then realized that really I did not need to do that right this second. I think I might just wait and then hopefully I can have my mom in here at some point when I'm moving stuff and she would just do a beautiful job of sorting books. So I might have her do that. I like started to sort them a little bit into like chapter books and then like quick reads, I call them, and then like picture books. But obviously I did not finish. And then I started to putting some boxes together. This box is actually gonna be like baggy books, I think. I I don't know when I student taught in first grade my CT did baggy books let me know how you feel about baggy books so basically baggy books are like you either have like a grown-up volunteer in the room stuffing baggies or you have like the kids do it potentially or you could do it with the kids and they choose some books that are at their level to take home and practice reading and if I did this I would do it in addition to whatever other books they are reading and want to take home so it wouldn't be like instead of taking other books home it would be in addition to but these would just be ones that I don't like care about as much <laughs> that like they could keep at home for a while and then bring back like eventually I don't know I just haven't really decided and I haven't really decided the best way for having them take like these types of books home like picture books so I don't know because I want them to be able to bring books home so they can read them but I also don't want them to like get ruined obviously because it's so much easier to ruin a picture book versus a chapter book so chapter books I feel very comfortable having the kids take home picture books I just don't exactly know also I do not level my books these ones were already leveled so obviously I'll just like leave them but I don't level books personally I think it's good to know a book's level so when you're pulling books for students then you know but I don't think it's necessarily beneficial for the kids to identify themselves as a level if that makes sense so that's why I don't level books but if they already have the level on them obviously I just leave them so yes and then I have all of my whiteboards right there and I'm going to clean those off at some point and I think that's pretty much it oh I might also take down my mountain tapestry thing today possibly again though that would be so much easier with a ladder so I don't know we'll see and then my back room is still looking <laughs> super full super messy but like I said most everything is in bins and so like once I start being able to move stuff down it will be pretty easy to move it down just on like a flatbed like cart you know so I just kind of have stuff everywhere it's kind of overwhelming but what can you do so yes that is the room right now it's a lot <laughs> <laughs> All right, but I'm going to continue watching Olivia Rodrigo and I'm going to tackle this wall I think next so let's do this Okay, so it is a couple hours later now and I still have not started taking down the paper because I realized it would make more sense to go through my bookshelves first so I can move them away from the wall a little bit. So I've spent the last like two hours or hour and a half maybe working on that and I did not film it because like I said, there's so many people in the building today. I've had kids like running in and out of my room all day and whenever they come in, I need to go like run and grab my mask really quick and you know, all the things. So. Oh, yes, I have been very very busy though, and I feel like I got a lot done. So that's good now I will say a little disclaimer here I have gotten so many comments on my Instagram and my YouTube and like messages and emails of people saying keep all your books Keep all your books, but you guys don't understand I literally have thousands and thousands of books in my classroom library Like I have so many books and it just does not make sense to move every single book from fifth grade to second grade Because my thinking is like yes, it is possible that I will be moved back Back to fifth grade someday but it would not be by choice I really want to stay in lower elementary and my principal knows that that is something that I really want for myself and so I would hope that if I did get moved again hopefully it would be in lower elementary and so a lot of the books I did hold on to I have like I think five boxes full of chapter books that I packed up and I have one of the boxes is like humongous so I have five boxes completely full of books that I'm taking with me like chapter books and then I have way more than that of picture books as well and the reason why I'm not taking all of these is because it just does not make sense. I'm not going to have room to store all of these and I don't want to see these books in storage. Like I want kids to enjoy these books and read these books and love these books. That's why I bought them. So I am going to be giving these books. A lot of them I'm just going to be giving to the teacher who's coming into this room. She's a first year teacher and I actually know her from college. She's super sweet and so I'm just going to be donating these books to her if she wants them. There are some books that were a lot more expensive or books that I bought like very recently that I do want to make a little bit of money off of just because I spent so much money on my classroom library even this year I've spent hundreds of dollars on my classroom library and so those ones I'm going to give this new teacher an option when she came into my room before she said hey if you're thinking about selling anything like on Facebook marketplace then please let me know first because I might just want to buy it off of you so what I'm going to do is give her the option of buying some of the books and if she doesn't want them then I'll just post them on Facebook marketplace so that way I can recoup a little bit of that money and then I can use it to support my new second 
second grade classroom. So yes, please do not give me a hard time in the comments. 99% of these books I bought with my own money. There were some that were donated as well, but they are going to be going to good use. We work at a great school with great students, and I know that the teacher coming into this room is going to be so excited to have an awesome classroom library. And like I said, I'm still taking a ton with me, but I know that there are gonna be people who give me a hard time. So please do not give me a hard time. If you have to, then that's fine, but I probably will delete your comment <laughs> because it's just unnecessary. But anyways, okay, let me walk you around and I will show you the books that I'm leaving. And then I'll also show you the books that I am keeping. Also, I had a nail pop off, so just like ignore that. It's sitting right here, I just don't have glue with me, so. Okay, here we go. <laughs> okay, so I am leaving behind these books and these three bookshelves, and they're already like sorted all nicely. The only ones that are not sorted is I just had a box donated to me fairly recently, so that bottom row right there, I did not actually go through and sort those by author's last name, but if the new teacher wants them, then she could do that later. And yes, there are a ton of books over here that are just content-wise going to be not appropriate for second grade. Some of them have like boyfriend-girlfriend things or whatever. Not that that's necessarily appropriate for fifth grade either but a lot of middle grade novels just like have those themes and a lot of them are like scary books or whatever and just not books that I think a lot of second graders would be super interested in so yes I am leaving behind all of these ones and I think this first year teacher will be so excited to have this like awesome looking classroom library coming in and I know she probably already has like quite a few books as well so there's some room left over and then she could obviously use the space on the top too and then I am going to keep these bookshelves that I got uh, I think I got these before my first year of teaching these like cube ones. I'm going to keep those. I'm going to keep this black one and then I'm also going to keep my picture book one that I have over there. You can't really see it but I'll walk up so you can see it. I have not started packing these books but I'm going to keep this one as well. I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to do with them yet but I am going to keep them. And then I packed up a ton of books into boxes. So I have one, two boxes right there three, four, and then I also have five over here, and this one is like a huge, massive box. So trust me, I am keeping lots of chapter books. My kids are gonna have so many options, and I have even more actually that are in the back room, and I'm keeping all of my nonfiction books. So I'm still keeping like over a thousand books, I'm sure, that I'm moving with me just that are like chapter books. And then I also have all my quick reads that I'm going to keep, and then I was donated a bunch of picture books and some chapter books books as well and so I'm keeping all of these and yes I am definitely not going to be without books like I have all these ones that I still need to go through as well and these ones that I need to go through and then I was donated all of those ones and so people know I love books and so they just give me books and so I have books everywhere I also have more on the counter over there so huh, so many books the books are everywhere I love books but going through books is a ton of work <laughs> as I'm sure you know if you're a teacher so yeah, my room is just like looking a mess right now, but also I got a lot done. My classroom library is looking pretty good, so that's good. And then, oh, also, you know what? I don't know if I even went through the return bin. No, I didn't, so I have even more books to go through. Okay, so I'll have to do that perhaps before I run home. Okay, I'm back at school. Got a Diet Coke on the way, of course. And now there are a lot less people here. I got to run the sprinklers at home, worked on report cards a little bit. So now I am ready to tackle this wall and take it down. Well, not the whole wall, but <laughs> the wallpaper stuff, the bulletin board paper, whatever it is. I'm gonna rip it down and try to save it and roll it up so I can put it up in my new classroom. Yay! Okay, let's do this. Here we go. Okay, I finished taking down the entire wood wallpaper. So, yay for that. It actually was super easy. I just like peeled it off basically, so it did not take very long. So, I have that all stacked on my kidney table and I'm probably gonna roll it up a little bit nicer so it doesn't get ruined. But I am planning on putting up that wood wall again in my new classroom. I think I already said that, but I do have a wall that's collapsible like this one that I can staple into. So, I will definitely be putting that up again. A lot of people have asked me if I'm planning on changing up my classroom theme for lower and I don't really think of myself as like having a theme I just kind of stick with like things that feel homey if that makes sense so I'm gonna stick with things that feel homey I'm not gonna add in like a bunch of bright colors or anything just because I'm going down to lower L I just don't really think that's necessary I might lighten it up a little bit I guess but I don't really I don't know 
intend on changing a whole lot. I'm gonna use what I already have that I've already spent money on. I'm not gonna go out and buy a bunch of new stuff because that just seems silly. And I know that it's not about what the classroom decorations are. It's about the kids and me that make up the classroom. And then anything decor wise is just extra and fun. And it doesn't really do anything for their learning. It's just fun, you know, it's just extra. So anyways, yes, I am going to pull down those lights. I think I said I was gonna leave them up, but I think I am just gonna pull them down because I don't know, I kind of just feel like taking them down now. And I might still try to take down my mountain tapestry tonight, but I wasn't able to find a ladder. And I really did not feel like bringing one from home. I thought about it, but then I was like, oh, I really don't want to. So I don't think I'm gonna do that. I think instead I'm just going to see if I can like stand on a chair or a desk or something and get up there. And if not, then maybe I'll ask around a little bit more to see if anybody has found our school ladder. I know we have one because I used it last year during setup. So I'm not quite sure where it ran off to, but we definitely have one somewhere. So yes, that is the plan. Take down the lights, maybe take down the tapestry today, but my big project was the wood wall and honestly that did not take me long at all I basically just pulled it and it came off I did have to move the bookshelves just a little bit because I had paper behind them but once I got that then it was pretty easy peasy lemon squeezy so uh, I'm sweaty like super sweaty you can probably tell I keep putting my hair up in a scrunchie and then I take it down because I don't really like the feeling of my hair up it like kind of bothers me but it's hot so my hair needs to go back up so yes, also I'm on like episode 10 of High School Musical, the musical, the series. <laughs> so I watched 10 episodes between yesterday and today, which is pretty amazing and I am enjoying it. So I would recommend it. It's not great, but you know, it is getting me through this classroom teardown. <laughs> Okay, it is officially at 6 p.m. It's actually a few minutes after, but I have been working my little tail off all day today. I have everything officially pulled off the walls, except for the tapestry because I did not want to try to navigate that without a ladder. So hopefully next time I come in, I can get a ladder. But other than that, pretty much everything is pulled off, I believe. And I have a rhyme or reason to the chaos that is going on in my room. I tried to like sort some books and stuff like that. And yeah, it's a lot just like looking around my room right now, like it looks like a tornado went through here but like I said there is a rhyme or reason to the chaos that is in my classroom so I'm really excited to just start moving this stuff out and having it look like I've done something because right now it just looks like I made a big huge mess but once I start moving it down the hall then it will be good to go because like I said pretty much everything is in boxes and bins already so I should be in good shape so I actually just saw the teacher whose room that I'm moving into is here and she's working on cleaning out her room right now so I'm hopeful that maybe I'll be ready to to start moving in soon maybe even later this week I don't know I'm not like crossing my fingers but it would be nice if I could start moving in soon so we will see I don't really know how long this vlog is because it's just kind of been like a couple days of me working on my classroom so I think I am going to end this here it might be a short vlog but that's okay we're fun we're flexible and then hopefully in my next vlog I'll be moving stuff down the hall maybe I don't know we'll have to wait and see so anyways thank you so much for watching this vlog if you enjoyed it please make sure to give it a thumbs up also make sure to turn on the post notification bell so you're notified every time I post a new video I have so many videos this summer coming up I'm so excited so turn on that post notification bell subscribe if you're not subscribed already let me know in a comment below what you'd like to see from me this summer and also just what you're up to today I would love to know are you hanging by the pool are you teaching summer school are you I don't know playing Pokemon Go do people still do that I'm not really sure but what are you up to let me know thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next vlog bye